everyone, it's Allison. Uh, I'm sorry it's been so long since I uploaded a video or even recorded a video, to be honest with you. Um, it doesn't seem like that long, but it just flew by. So, um, we had a couple deaths in the family, unfortunately, and with the holidays and that, it just... It's been crazy, so um, I'm back today and um, I have a grocery haul for you and I also have many more things I wanna record and talk to you about, um, just an update on where we are with um, baby number two and some organizational pro projects I've been working on and um, winter cleaning rather than spring cleaning. And But today I just wanted to get started with um, a grocery haul. Um, this is kind of technically my first like quote unquote haul um, for meal planning that I've done this year just because like I said things have been crazy and I did run to the store but I've been trying to use up what we had so um, I will go ahead and get into it and then I have a couple bonus things I want to show you at the end um, of the video so I'll get to that later. So for now um, as you know my table is like always a disaster but these are our groceries. There is a glare from the sun. I apologize. It's coming right in my window over there so I can't really do much about that. I could shut them but you know it, it's light. So um, I did spend uh, $118.01 um, I saved about $57.31 on a bunch of the deals um, that they had going on in the store. I had some impulse buys, I'm not going to lie, I'll show you what those are, but uh, that was my total. Um, I did meal plan. That has been working out really well for me. Um, I just do it for the week. Okay, so this is my meal plan. I'll go ahead and share with you. Um, I have these, um, it's actually a whole notepad and I just ripped it off. It has a magnet on the back, but I keep it on the refrigerator. It says this week and it's Monday through Sunday and I just find it really conducive to writing in the meals for that week. Um, I take this notepad, I take my grocery notepad and I kind of go through and see what I need to pick up for the meals. Um, like I mentioned, we've been trying to use up what we have, so uh, a lot of the stuff here is just things that we need to use. I didn't have to buy much for our meals. Um, a lot of it was deals the stores were having um, for stuff for the pantry, so and then staples and vegetables and stuff. So I had made goulash last week. We're having, um, or I'm sorry, <laughs> today is Tuesday, so we had that last night. Um, we had leftover goulash just with a salad. Um, we uh, are having quiche with bacon, onion, and peppers with a salad tonight. Uh, quiche or frittata. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to make the pie crust. Um, tomorrow we're going to have tacos with pork leftovers. I made um, this pork and sauerkraut, but it's actually got like sauerkraut, apples, and potatoes in it. So um, it's a nice little mixture. We're just going to try and throw that on some tacos with some cabbage and stuff. Uh, Thursday will be butternut squash soup with salad. Friday, burgers and fries. Saturday, I'm not sure we may be out. I wrote it off, I wrote it on there out, but I was thinking of next week we have a wedding. So we're supposed to be going to Pittsburgh for a friend's birthday. Um, uh, and that's like kind of a long trip for us. So Saturday and Sunday, I'm not really sure yet about them. Um, but on Sunday, I'm planning on roast and potatoes if we will be home. Saturday, probably leftovers in some form of these items that we have here. The soup and the quiche will probably be leftover, so we can probably eat that up. So, I had a tough time meal planning this week. I don't know why. I just, I if I'm not on Pinterest or something, I, I need to come up with a better way of um, getting some inspiration for um, meal planning. So... All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it then. Um, over here I have our bread products. Um, I picked up two, uh, just, this is Lissio's Bakery. My husband likes it um, to get the loose rolls, but just two Kaiser rolls and then just a regular roll just for him if he wants to eat it. Um, it's just some sandwich thins, the whole wheat sandwich thins. I really like these for a tuna sandwich. Um, some English muffins. They had these buy one, get one free. So I got the honey wheat and then just the um, original. 
Um, I'm really the only one that eats those. Fisher may have them, but he still has some cinnamon raisin thin bagel thins left, so he'll probably have those. Um, so that's it for the bread items that we got. I had a loaf of bread in the freezer, so I laid that out last night, and we're good with that. Um, they had a deal on their goldfish, which Fisher opened one in the store, but they had a deal, and I try and pick those up whenever there's a deal just because he loves them, and it's fine. Um, so I got five for $10, so they were $2 a bag. I didn't have a coupon or anything, but... Um, I don't know. I think that's an okay deal uh, while I was there. I got the baby the baby ones, which I had never really seen before. Um, two of the just regular whole grain ones, a colors, and a pretzel goldfish. So those are the ones I picked up. They also had a deal on Triscuits and Oreos. I think it was they were $1.49 a box if you bought three. So I got two of the original and one of the minis for Fisher to snack on. Um, we like those with cheese and crackers or just snacking with meat and cheese and stuff or when we have a party. So I'll just keep those downstairs in our basement um, until we need them. They also had a deal on Pop-Tarts and cereal. It was like the Kellogg stuff. Um, so these were buy for, it was either like get $4 off or it ended, it worked out to like $1.49 a box. So um, I got four of the s'mores. My husband likes to have those sometimes as like dessert. I like them in the morning sometimes, um, but they'll keep. I mean, these are, the date is December 17th of 2015. So I'll just keep them in the basement and whenever we want them, I'll pull them up. And then my husband requested some new cereal. Um, he really likes Raisin Bran, but they were buy four um, for, again, $1.49 a box. So, and I had a coupon, a dollar off three boxes. So it worked out to be a really good deal. Um, so I got two Raisin Bran, one Corn Pops, and one Fruit Loops. Um, that's what he requested. So that was a good deal that they were having. They also had a deal on the Eggo waffles. It was 99 cents for a box. It was like a store coupon that they had. So I grabbed those. Sometimes I like to just throw those in for Fisher in the morning for breakfast. Um, I also, this was one of my impulse buys. Um, these are for me. I am just a glutton for Little Debbie cakes. I love them. Um, so I got the zebra cakes and the Be My Valentine cakes. They have those in. So I keep those in my little junk drawer and snack on them whenever. Um, okay, they also had a deal on tomato and chicken noodle, I believe it was, um, soups. I got all tomato soup. Now, this is the deal with these. So, they were 80 cents a can, but if you bought 10, they were 50 cents a can, which is a really good deal. And I had a coupon, um, I think it was a dollar off eight cans, so I got a dollar off, an additional dollar off. So, I got all these for like four bucks. Um, which is pretty good for Campbell's soup. So I got um, all tomato soup, like I mentioned. We don't even really like tomato soup, <laughs> but um, I am going to uh, use them. There's a casserole that I make, and then the goulash, like I made, you add tomato soup into it. So um, I just got it, and they'll keep, I think they're good until 2016. October of 2016. So I'll just keep them in the basement and you know, it's a good time to just stock up when they have sales like that. They also had the Starkist. They had a lot of their tunas on sale to be honest with you, but the, um, I like the solid white albacore tuna in water and they had them for a dollar a can or 10 for 10, a dollar a can. Um, they were originally like a dollar 80 a can. So I went ahead and got 10 and then I'll just keep those in the basement. And I like to eat those for lunch when I'm home. Uh, I also picked up some relish. We were all out. And then some green and red, to, um, just Tabasco sauces. We like to put those on different things. So we were running low. Um, sour cream. Uh, I also, this was another impulse. I was at the deli counter getting cheese and I saw the pasta salads and stuff in the pasta bar or in the salad bar. I don't know. They just looked really good. So I got some to kind of keep in the fridge to munch on. Um, some Yo Toddler, the strawberry banana um, with fruit and cereal in it one. Um, he lo loves that with blueberries in the morning or as a snack. Some Clementines. They said they had the Halo ones, but these were the only ones they had. I, You know, they're the same thing. They're seedless and stuff. 
um, oh, the dairy. Um, so a organic whole milk. Um, I've never tried this before, but I saw it and I wanted to see if it was good. I've been buying chocolate milk. I like it and Fisher likes it. So it's chocolate. It's called Fair Life. Um, it's 2%. It's chocolate reduced fat ultra filtered milk. It's 38% less fat than whole milk. And it's from cows with, that weren't treated with hormones. And it was on sale for $3. This is the last one left. So, um, yeah, I thought we'd give it a try. And then a thing of half and half. And I think that's all the dairy. So then, yeah, for produce, we got um, the Clementines. They had blackberries and blueberries for buy one, get one free. Um, and I think they were $2.99. So I got a thing of blackberries and a thing of blueberries. I also got two red peppers. They were like a dollar, less than a dollar fifty for both of them. A bunch of cilantro for the tacos. Um, two things of strawberries. They had them on sale for $2.99. So I got two. Fisher was like begging for strawberries. Um, a pound of white American cheese. Just one tomato for me. I like a tomato on my burger and then on my tuna sandwiches. So some bananas, just like four. And then they had these like kits, two, um, two for $7, which kind of seems a little pricey, but I really do love these kinds of salads that are like pre-chopped. And this is the same one I think that Costco sells, but it's the Superfood 6 Eat Smart. This is the ginger bok choy one. Um, I probably won't use the dressing. I might, I don't know, but um, we'll use these for salads this week. And then I got um, some Scott Naturals tube-free toilet paper. Um, they had this, a coupon, a store coupon for $5.99. It was on sale for $6.99. They had a st store coupon for an additional dollar off, and then I had a coupon for an additional dollar off. So I got it for $4.99, which is a decent price for toilet paper. I like to, I have like tons downstairs, but, um, and then I got a Hallmark card, uh, just a wedding card. It's just like a, it's cute. It's a little boy and a little girl and it says, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> We're going to a wedding next weekend. So I went ahead and grabbed that now. So I don't forget. And that's everything. I mean, it wasn't a major haul, but, and it's a lot of like pantry stock items. Um, I didn't need a lot, like I said, for this week's meal plan. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have for you there. Um, I did want to show you, so we went to my parents for the holidays and, um, this is my freezer. If you guys are ever interested in seeing how I organize it, let me know, but oops. Um, but, uh, we split a side of beef with them. So, um, we have like, I was just going to show you that I don't really have to buy meat for a really long time. <laughs> so this is all of the steaks and stuff and it goes all the way back. I have stuff on top of it. Um, but you can see it goes like all the way back there. Um, and then these are all our veggies, like from our garden and stuff. These are beets that I did. And then this is all pork and breakfast meats and then some pies Nate bought around the holiday time, fries, apples that we went to an orchard and I pe peeled and sliced gala apples for my pies that I make. And then, um, this is all, well, those are like meatballs, but this is all, um, stew meats and bones and ribs, oxtail. These are all roasts on this side. Um, there's stuff back there. There's an ice cream thing for my KitchenAid. And yeah, so we are good for meat. I do have to actually get some chicken. Um, this is the chicken bag. I just, um, I buy the stuff from Wegmans and it's always $1.99 a pound. And I, it comes in like pre- uh, individually wrapped things and I just cut the whole thing up and I keep them in that bag so that way I can just reach in and grab however many I need and then this is all the ground beef we have do you see all that wow some of it was already like pre-frozen patties we had made um, which I got to use those first and then this was like some old stuff that we had and then this we got at a local farm near our house so all the rest of it though is from the cow that we just had done so 
I wanted to show you that I have plenty of um, <laughs> plenty of meat and other items that I have on the fridge or on the side on the door. So we are good in that department. Hi, Nye. Um, so yeah, and then the only other thing, I'm sorry, I'm kind of taking you around everywhere. I'm sorry if I'm making you sick. Um, but the only other thing that I wanted to show you was I recently, um, reorganized, I don't know if you saw all the other stuff on my table. I'll show you real quick. So isn't that poinsettia gorgeous? My grandmother sent that to us. Um, Nate's grandmother passed away. That's one of the things we've been dealing with recently. So, um, she sent this just to send her condolences. So, but I went to the dollar store and I really should have, I wished I would have filmed the haul, but I didn't. It was late and I wanted to go ahead and use some of the stuff. So I didn't, but I still have stuff here that I could show you. Um, maybe I'll do the, a separate video on that. Um, but I have all kinds of stuff. This is Fisher's snow suit, but stuff over there and the, this stuff and this stuff. I mean, I just bought tons of bins. I didn't even really know where I was going to put them, but I figured I could find a use for them. So anyway, this is the under the cat, um, under the sink organization that I recently did. Um, it may not look that organized to you, but it looks like 10 times better than it did. I cleaned everything. I cleaned the walls. Um, the only thing I really want to do is like label these in particular because there's random stuff in there just in case my husband would ever need to get in there, which <laughs> I don't know if that would ever happen, but yeah, so the main stuff I use is here and you know, if you guys are interested in having me do like a show you how I organize it, I can. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick some of the stuff I've been working on that I haven't had a chance to share with you guys. So, um, yeah. So that's what I have for you today. Um, I do, like I said, I need to update you on where we are with baby number two. I want to show you the additional organizational product projects that I, um, working on. We, uh, got, as you can imagine, like a ton of gifts for Christmas for Fisher. So his toys are literally everywhere. He got this giant train table from my parents and all his toys are taking up this whole, um, console table here. A lot, some of them I can probably phase out, but I took a bunch downstairs already, if you can imagine. And then on top of our dog crate, there's, it's like everywhere. So I bought three bookshelves that are going to go here on this wall. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure how it's going to work out, but we have to put them together yet. We just got them yesterday and I'm going to use the bottom part of the shelves for him and we'll keep his toy box. My dad made that toy box for him. It's so cute. Um, but we'll keep the toy box here and I'm sure his train table will just stay like it is, but we're going to move the dog crate probably over where the tree is. And yeah, so, um, I'll have to sh share that with you guys too. So sorry, this ended up kind of being a longer video than I had anticipated. Um, I, can you see me? I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> um, I will try like once a week is my goal. I hate to tell you I have a goal. Um, because if I don't do it, I'm going to feel really bad, but I don't have that many subscribers, I think I would disappoint. So, um, I really want to try and get one video up a week. I, I was doing so good there for a little while. And then, you know, sometimes life just throws you a curveball, and you, you got to adapt and just deal with it. So I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do, but I'm going to try and make a concerted effort to do a better job. So I'll talk to you all soon and see you in my next video. Bye.